Hi everyone. Today we are going to use design thinking process to develop the solution in order to improve the mental health of the elderly in Melbourne. Here is the outline of our video. It is divided into five parts: emphasize, define, ideate, prototype, and test. Australia has a population of over 25 million, which is ranking 55th in the world. From 2015 to 2019, Australia's population has been on the rise, and is expected to continue this upward trend in the future. With the growth of Australia's population, the phenomenon of population aging is becoming more and more serious. Over the next several decades, population aging will have a range of implications for Australia, including health, size of the working age population, housing, and demand for skilled labor. Children in the Australian population have decreased proportionally, and people aged 65 and over has increased due to continued low fertility and life expectancy. This has resulted in one in seven people in an elderly person over the age of 65 in 2017. The phenomenon of an aging population will last for a long time. In 2017, there were 3.8 million Australians aged 65 and over. By 2097, it is projected there will be 12.8 million older people in Australia. In 2016 to 17, people aged 65 and over received 915,000 mental health related services. Anxiety, loneliness, stress, insecurity, depression, anger, and bipolar are all related to mental health. For example, in 2014, stress affected more than half of people aged 65 and over in the last 12 months. With serious illness and the death of a loved one, some of the most common types of stressors older people experience. According to Australian Institute of Health and Welfare, Older Australians access services to support their mental health needs through a number of pathways, including hospital and community-based services, emergency departments, GPs, medical specialists, and allied health professionals. However, there are few technology on the market to help the elderly improve their mental health. To this end, we have designed a home-assisted robot for the people who are over 65. As the development of the technologies, Lucia and Elena indicated that older adults are increasingly adopting and adapting to information and communication technologies. According to the table, about 40% adults who are over 65 has own smartphone, which means the LA have gradually begun to accept and use smart products. This is an opportunity for us, since the products we design will be a household smart device that is specifically used for the elderly. After collecting the data, we started to think about what does the elderly need and what can we do to help them not only in the individual degree but also in the social degree. Thinking of designing the technological products, we also collected some data about the attitude towards mobile devices by the elderly. Our team did a desk research and designed the questionnaire to interview some elderly in Melbourne, getting more information for product designing. Let's watch the video together. Oh yeah, when my dog died. Ah, yeah. Where is it from? Stress. Stress. Lack of sleep. Oh, sense of security in the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go out and do do stuff outside. Yeah, like do this. Play music. Yeah, play music. Go to the beach, take the dogs for a walk to the okay, beach. Okay, that's no, great. Nobody is trying to attack. Okay. Making sure relaxing, not too much TV, not too much screen time. Ah, oh, yeah. After the interview, an idea came to our mind. We started to design an AI robot which looks like human beings to accompany the elderly in their daily life. It has emotion perception, healthcare, and also housekeeping function to help them in their daily life. We share our idea and test in the classroom, getting some feedback in the class. Although it's a good idea, but actually it is impractical because of the high cost and it may lead to the dependency so that the LA would become less connected to the social life. So after getting the feedback, we redesigned our product to be a home smart devices, which has an image of robot, indicating the intelligence and efficiency. It has a big touch screen with the four simple major functions on that. It is entertainment, interaction, health, and ask, with one setting button which is clear and easy to use. 
Finally, we redesign our product based on the statement of 3C. It is caring, convenient, and connected. Our target audience is the elderly over 65 years old who live alone or whose children can't take care of them in the daily life. Without skillful experience of using mobile devices, our product provides them a more caring, more convenient life and helps them to keep the connection with friends and society as well, thus to increase their happiness, sense of security, sense of dependence so that it can improve their mental health. We finally reached a consensus and named our home-based device as Bunny because we think Bunny is friendly, easygoing, and trustworthy, which is consistent with our initial design purpose, 3C. Bunny is designed with a big touch screen and just one setting button, with four key functional parts including entertainment, interaction, health, and us. These functions provide different specific assistance for our users. They just need to touch the screen and then Bunny will start to work. In the entertainment part, users can ask Bunny to recommend and play songs or audiobooks based on their taste and preference. Bunny also can serve as a radio connector and TV controller, commanding it to open the device. About the interaction, our initial idea of this function is to help the elderly connect with outside society. Users can easily connect and social with their family members, friends, and even communities. The specific assistance include face-to-face -face call, mailbox, message reading. What's more, Bunny can be a scheduled reminder. Bunny will automatically remind the users of the daily tasks or arrangements. The last feature's assistance is online communication platform. We create a channel that provides a range of community activities on a regular basis. The elderly can choose the activities that they are interested in to strengthen the link of outside society. In the health function, medical service plays a significant role in the health section, which contains doctor-connected service and first aid. Users can get help from doctors as soon as possible when they have health problems, and this system will record their medical history as well. It will send an update to the doctor's timeline besides users' health conditions can be reported and supervised by the doctors and their family members. We also share some yoga and meditation information on that. About the ask, Bunny can identify users' voice and search what they need properly in time. Another assistance is daily conversation. Bunny can have a basic dialogue with users to look after their feelings and reduce their negative feelings. After the redesign, we also did some interviews to collect feedback and try to find improvements of our product. Here is the video. Um, I don't know, I want to get online. Uh, yeah. I just don't know quite what I need. Yeah. yeah. So that is very good. Very clear. So product, yeah. Yes. You're interested? I think that is a wonderful product. That is something particularly for my mother. Well, it's always a matter of how much money, you know, but the thing uh -huh. is, it sounds quite interesting to ask. I think it's enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's enough. But if you were to, I suppose, require entertainment interaction, you won't be able to walk from room to room and behave, have that panel accessible to you. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. so that's, that's a good idea. idea. Yeah. Yeah. I can maybe just the name interaction, maybe change it to mm -hmm. communication. Or communication. Maybe just maybe the name. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. From the interviews, the majority of respondents have showed their interest in our business idea. But a few of respondents think that we can improve more. They suggested that we need to work on controlling the product price. As we all know, consumers are highly sensitive to the price. If the setting price is too high, they might not consider to try or buy it. The second suggestion is increasing more assistance, like connecting more home electronic devices. Correct the name of interaction to communication to make it easier to understand from the respondent's feedback. However, one of the respondents asked us a question that is worthy to consider. If I can use smartphone well, what do I need to buy your product? From that, we have realized that how to differentiate our product with competitive products like smartphone is what we need to keep engaging in further. That's all of our videos. Thank you so much for watching.